All right, so it's been a few days. <laughs> I parked this thing in my garage and I kind of kind of ignored it. Um, in the last episode, I masked this thing off, plasticed it, masked off and uh, plastic my entire garage and primed and painted it, uh, or I guess about half of it. Some of this paint laid down very nicely and uh, some of it not so much. Unfortunately, I had some plastic fall onto wet paint in a few spots. So today I think we're gonna see just how far wet sanding and polishing will go to fixing not ideal paint. I think the first thing I wanna do today is put the bumpers back on, put the fender back on too. But before that, real quick, I wanna swap out these door hinges here and hopefully fix the extremely irritating problem of having the door clunk up and down every time I open and close it. All right, let's get to it. All right, I, uh, huge, huge difference here. You can see actually a good bit of play in this guy. And uh, here's a new one, perfectly tight. Awesome. Got these new door hinges in there. Got a uh, little bit of, I think that's midnight purple. Whatever the car that this came off of had a uh, had a cool paint job. And I'm happy to say, door works perfect. I did have to adjust it a little bit, but it was pretty easy just to loosen these bolts and lift up on this guy and then tighten them back down when it was centered. Good to go. All right, so the last step on this guy is to attempt a sort of like color sand or wet sand for this paint. And then uh, finally a, a buff and polish or whatever, polishing compound, all that stuff. And that's what I'm gonna try and do today. Obviously I got my work cut out for me on this uh, back portion here and some of the bumper, but I feel like I can only make it better from here. So I'm curious to see just how good I can get this uh, really awful rough paint, especially these little uh, bubbles here. And then of course the place where the plastic touched my paint down here. I think my strategy is to wet the sandpaper in a bucket of water. Um, and then I'll have a rag that I'll use to flow water down this thing um, and try and keep it clean. And we'll see how this turns out. Um, this is my very first time doing anything like this. So it's gonna be a learning experience for sure. But of course I'm gonna polish the uh, original body as well. Um, so I can get this color hopefully closer to a match. Cause obviously this is like, it's gotten so faded and oxidized over the years that uh, um, it's almost like a gray. So we'll see where we end up at the end of the day. All right, so for my sandpaper, um, I, I, did, I did some research. It seems like everybody kind of uses a different grid of sandpaper ranging from like down to like maybe 500 or 600, um, all the way up to like 1500 or 2000. And uh, the guy at the paint store recommended I use this 600 and 800. I know that's probably a little more on the, on the aggressive side, like the more coarse side, but uh, I also really have some serious problems with my paint. Obviously that probably means I have to be a little bit more careful with this stuff, not to scratch it or go all the way through the paint. So I should also have some, uh, I think I have some, 1000 grit up in my uh, sandpaper stash. So I think maybe 1000 might be a good finishing or if this is a little bit too aggressive. Uh, and we'll just give that a try. So I'll start with the old uh, middle ground here. All right, this uh, actually seems to be working pretty well. From what I can tell here, you can kind of see the orange peel. I can tell because this is pretty smooth and you don't see a lot of uh, variation in the paint. Whereas this side here, which uh, is 
very, very much still orange peel. And um, you can actually feel and see the bumps in this or the texture. So um, I think I'm just gonna smooth it out to where it's more or less like this flat gray. Um, obviously it looks scratched up and terrible now, but I'm hoping the polish will fix that. Oh boy, I guess we'll see. Uh, <laughs> I think that's what the polish is for. But uh, so far so good. There's still a lot of roughness over here, but uh, I don't know how much of that I'll be able to remove. Um, we'll just keep at this and uh, maybe I'll try and buff this before I wet sand all of the rest of this stuff. All right, I got this thing all washed off and I would say it's looking pretty good. I was extra cautious around this like line here because I figured the center would get sanded down way quicker. So, you know, there is a little bit of orange peel left, but all paint has uh, some degree of orange peel. So uh, I'm not sure if that's enough or if that's plenty, but it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. And I did manage to get all of this kind of like weirdness and waviness out of this side. I'll wait till it dries before I uh, celebrate. In fact, you can already start to see it dry here and it's really, really scary looking. It's very much just sanded down and there's absolutely no shine at all, but I, I think that's part of the process. I hope so. I hope I didn't just ruin this hatch. So I think I'm gonna let this thing dry and I'm gonna try some polishing compound um, before, I, before I do the rest of the parts, the ones that actually are in good condition, like, you know, the rear bumper and the, uh, and the front bumper and things like that. So let's get that polisher set up and we'll, uh, we'll hit this guy. Fingers crossed it turns shiny again. All right, so here's my, my setup here. My, my brand new unused, uh, this is a dual action, whatever orbital thing. Um, it's the, the one you're supposed to use supposedly. And, um, you know, it has like a random sort of polishing motion. And I have a few pads, like three stages of pads. So I have this uh, heavy polishing pad, which will be my first. It's probably the most coarse. So I guess uh, Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear here. <laughs> and we have some rubbing compound and polish. And of course, I'll wax it at the end. So I'm definitely a uh, newbie at, at polishing and waxing and all that stuff. I've done it a handful of times. And that was by hand. Um, I've, I've rarely used these sort of like buffers or polishers or whatever. So um, I'll be pretty careful with this. I think it's gonna be kind of the same thing. Just <laughs> go slow, don't burn through the paint or whatever. And uh, fingers crossed this turns out okay. Um, all right, let's give it a try. It's definitely getting there. Obviously that's a, a huge improvement. It's still pretty dull and I can still see a lot of scratch marks and a lot of kind of roughness. So I think I'll keep polishing. I can already tell it's gonna be important to definitely get all of these orange peel marks out of here. I think you're gonna be able to see all of them. So I'll just note that. And I might actually even sand this side just a little bit more, but uh, I'm gonna keep polishing on this guy and we'll see if we can get this uh, shiny enough to call good. Wow, um, this is actually looking pretty solid. Uh, I'm actually really pleased with how this is coming out. And this area right here was by far the worst part of the paint. This is where it got hit by the plastic and it was bubbling up and all that stuff. And it's actually looking pretty good. When you get to the side, you can see some of the roughness, some of the marks from the plastic. But I also feel like I could have maybe wet sanded it just a little bit more. But this is actually starting to look passable. I have definitely a 10 footer, but way better than I thought it would look. I did burn through the paint just a little bit here on the edge, so I'll be more careful, but I have some leftover paint I can use to touch up that, no big deal. It does seem like the polish does some work to some of this orange peel. I'm not sure if it's safer to wet sand this more or to uh, just use the polisher. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try the polisher just a little bit more on this guy, and we'll see if that's the way to go before we commit to the rest of this hatch.
I got this thing all washed up and uh, I just went ahead and washed the entire car because I am going to polish the entire car as well. This paint is all pretty old and there's a few spots that are sort of uh, problem spots. Actually, it's that's pretty bad. So um, I'm going to see if I can maybe restore or bring back some of this clear coat. I'm certainly going to get it as good as I can. And hopefully once I polish the entire thing, uh, the colors will match. Already I can tell that, you know, this clean panel here and then this new polished panel here are pretty close. So uh, fingers crossed this thing comes out good. All right, day two of the uh, polish here. And I gotta say, this thing actually is looking pretty nice. You know, I'm actually kind of more worried about some of this original paint here. And I kind of didn't realize this hood was so far gone. There's definitely a lot of like, I guess that's uh, maybe damage to the clear coat or something. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not ideal. I also have a little bit back here as well. I think I might try and hit that a little bit harder with this polishing compound, whatever today few other spots actually right here on this back ledge I got a few spots here and I think I want to go ahead and remove this tail light so that I don't hit the tail light with the polish and end up scratching it otherwise I'm pretty happy with how this is coming out I just have a few more spots to go with this rubbing compound before I switch over to the actual polish which is a a finer grain you know sort of stuff so hopefully that stuff will really start to make this thing shine I also blew through my one pad yesterday so yeah, this thing's pretty much toasted. So hopefully a new pad. I guess I'll switch to the medium heavy, hmm, medium heavy cutting. And then for my polish, I'll use the light medium polishing pad. Cool, okay. Well, let's get that new pad on there. We'll give this a try and uh, we'll see what we can get done. All right, I uh, I got this thing, I think polished down as far as I wanna go with this, uh, this compound stuff. I'm not sure how aggressive I wanna go with this because uh, I know that that stuff is kind of rough and I don't wanna burn through the paint, but uh, as it stands now, it's actually pretty shiny. I did pretty much get the hood fixed. There's still a little bit of uh, stuff in the middle here, but it's a lot, lot better. So pretty happy about that. You know, all the areas I painted, the bumper looks good. And the top looks really, really good. Like these two areas here, for some reason, turned out the best by far. These look pretty much factory, if you ask me. So I'm pretty happy about that. Those are obviously not changeable panels. And uh, last but not least, the hatch. You know, I, I sanded and I, I polished down those problem areas where the plastic fell on it. Um, enough to where if you look close, you do see some waviness, but um, I'll show you. Right through here, I mean, you know, if you get up close, you do see some weirdness here, but for the most part, if you stand back, you kind of squint um, or you just kind of aren't looking for it, you know, it actually looks pretty good, pretty shiny. So I'm real pleased about that. I, I really thought this hatch was like a throwaway. Um, I was gonna have to get a new one, but um, I think this is definitely drivable for now. Maybe one day I'll find a, a black hatch for a decent price and I'll swap it out, but um, I'm gonna run with it. Uh, back bumper, same deal, you know, on the sides, there is a little bit of waviness where the, uh, plastic fell on it but otherwise this thing is looking real real shiny i uh i'm pretty i'm i gotta say i'm really surprised how this is turning out um i know it's going to get a lot better with this polish too so let's get a new pad on this thing and let's start hitting it with the polish
All right, I, I polished up about as much as I think my arms can handle. I think they might fall off if I try and do any more. I gotta say, this thing actually looks pretty good. I was at a real low point after that paint issue I had, but, uh, but I think I learned just how far color sanding can go to fix paint problems. After this paint is done drying, uh, off gassing or whatever, of course I'm gonna wax this thing. But as it stands now, I think I can call this paint done. I think I'm gonna put the tail lights back in, put the uh, rear wiper back in this guy so that I can actually drive this thing tomorrow because uh, this is my daily driver. So in the next episode, I'll get these trim pieces restored, reinstalled. This thing's gonna look awesome. Mm -hmm.